Hi, Alicia. Do you hear me? Do you see me? Oh, A R Y A. I don't know if I actually find it. A R Y A. Oh, no, 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 no. How come? A R Y A. I can't even type. Oh. Okay. I think I'm already. Hi, Clint. I think I'm already live, but I'm not sure. Oh, Kathy Lick. Oh, maybe I am already live. Look, I fixed my hair. I cut my bangs the other day, and I cut them too short. Well, actually, what happened was I cut them crooked, and so then I had to straighten them, and then they were crooked the other way, so then I had to straighten them, then they're really short. Hi, you all, guys. Let me see. I, I see Alicia, and I see Clint, and I see Kathy Lake. You guys are beautiful. I, um, I hope I have everything together here. And I hope I'm not like whatever it's called. I'll discombobulated. And so um, I don't want to be discombobulated. Where did I put my pin cushion? Got everything. I have so much junk. Y'all have happy mail being worked on. Oh my gosh. Hi Mary. Hi Mary. That name I don't I don't see. I don't recognize that name. Are you a new a new person? A new person. The new kid on the block. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You guys are awesome. Where's my cushion? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I can't find stuff. I have. There, I put my needle in there. I want to find me some new needles. I see where there's needles. They're called, um, where did I write it down? I got it written down. Loops and threads. Loops and threads. Cruel needles. But I seen a lady using these needles. And um, but then I looked them up on Amazon, and on Amazon you can only buy them like 30 packs at a time in bulk. And I don't want that mean. And so um, but oh Kathy Lake just finished crocheting a six-sided blanket. Oh my gosh. Six-sided. So that is that like a hexagon? Yeah. Oh, I bet it's pretty. I bet that's beautiful. But these needles, I see the lady using these needles, and they're actually like um like at the end of the needle, there's a color in there. There's like blue in there. And it's a certain amount of width, amount of space off the tip. So when you're hand stitching and you want to get um, exactly the same size stitch in each stitch, in each stitch, then you use that as a guide, that painted. You ever heard of such as that? Well, she, I wrote it down as I was working. And then, um, and, um. Because then I wanted to look at um, Amazon to see if they had them. And they do have them, but you got to buy them in bulk. Hi, Lynn Martin. Oh, beautiful ladies, beautiful ladies. Thank you so much. And so anyway, I'm going to look them up again and see if I can find them somewhere else where I can buy just one pack. I don't want 18 packs of them. But anyhow. But I thought that'd be cool because they're marked. The needles is actually marked. So all your stitches become the same size. I can't get stitches the same size. Mm -mm, not me. 
my goodness, it's good to see all of your smiling faces in there. Absolutely. And where's everyone from? I know, let's see, Alicia's in Louisiana. I don't know where Mary is. Oh, Mary's been watching me for about a year, she said. Thank you, Mary. You are awesome. I haven't been on much lately. Um, I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but I haven't been on a whole lot lately. It's just been a little bit of a cluster muck here. So, oh no, I ran out of bobbin thread. Oh, good grief. I've been making, you know what I've been making lately? Oh, yes. Kathy's North Alabama. That's right. I remember. And Mary's from East Texas. And Clint, I think, is in Illinois. Yes, Illinois. Mama Jama, North Carolina. North Carolina. I hope you all are warming up. But this has been some... <laughs> this has been some strange weather everywhere in the country this year. I mean, lots of snow and ice and rain and cold weather. We're supposed to get a little chilly tonight. It's already cooling down. We're going to get a little chilly tonight and tomorrow night. Al Alicia says, I've entered my wonders year, literally. <laughs> I wonder where I... Why I came in here and wonder what I need. It is crazy, I'm telling you. I'm always wondering what wondering why I'm wandering. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Hi, Lynn. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. I've been making these here um coasters, which I've made like well, I got like this. This many made. I'm making like these ones are my St. Patrick's Day. And then these ones are my Valentine's Day. And then these ones are just for spring. And so, which I put four of these out on our dining room table. So we have some out there. And then when next month, we'll use these ones here. And so I did a video how I make them because they're so simple and you just can get them made just really, really fast. Mama John loves purple too. I just love purple. It's just always been my favorite color. <laughs> yep. Purple, I don't know why, and I don't have any particular reason. It's just, but I love all colors. There's no colors that I don't like. And um, sometimes I use one color more than I do others. But, um, but, um, but I think always my favorite color has been purple. You, you know what, Lynn? I actually put on some makeup on my face to see if it covers any age spots in fact when i took my makeup out of that little basket up in the linen closet and i half of it i don't even know what i used it for <laughs> and i put some lip gloss on too here i had a little sample you know avon i don't know if they still do that but they used to um give out those little tiny bitty samples of lipstick yeah Clint has a question. What's your question, Clint? And Clint, Craft Ideas by Clint Hedges. He has a, a channel too, and he's got some pretty good stuff on his on his channel. Oh, Lynn is from Beaver Harbor, New Brunswick, Canada. So you are up in that cold tundra country. I don't know why some people want to choose to live up there in that cold and snow. But I guess it's your choice. Oh, um, hmm. Can I put your channel link here? I wonder if I can. I don't know. Let me see if I can do that. 
Hang on a second and let me see if I can find you. I think I can, but I'm not sure. I want to try because I don't, not too bright when it comes to these kind of things. Okay, let's see. Copy. And then I go back here and let's see if I can paste. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Control V. Oh, I have to go like this. Enter. There it is. There's Clint's. There's Clint's link to his channel. There you go. That's Clint's. I didn't know I could do that. I just went and copy and pasted. Yep, there you go. And so I've learned some things from Clint. Clint does quite a few, quite a few different things. He's um crochets and he does paper crafting. And um he does some he does some great things. And so Today, what I want to do, I haven't done it in a while, but I have done, I've done this before, which is, get my little trolley, is my, um, I put, I went through my, um, my, oh, oh, there it is. I have, I do a prompt. It's a prompt along for, I've done a lot of prompts that you use paper. But um, I haven't seen anybody that does fabrics and textiles and stuff. So I made up a bunch of cards with different things to do for prompts. And, and so, and I started doing these a while back. And let me put this down here. I do mine on a... Um, 12 by 12 square and then I put my after I'm finished with them I sew them together like in pages and what I'm hoping to have when I get it thick enough is I'll have it tied where it'll tie shut and it'll be a um a pillow but each one by doing the prompts like here's a zipper, a button, some tool, leaves, orange, different things that I have. There's a crocheted flower on there. Because each of these prompts have something different to, um, to add, just to suggest that you add to your... Um, Let's see. Well, this one's got a pocket, and I put this in that pocket. And now I have, um, I think, Lynn and, wait a minute. I'm doing terrible. Um, I have been, been told that some are making, like, fidget lap quilts. Fidget lap quilts. Um, um, fidget fidget quilts, like a lap quilt that can be donated to, um, like especially a memory care unit, like at an assisted living. And um, there's CJ from British Columbia. Um, Nanam. Nana Emo, Nana, Nanaimo, well, something. She's from British Columbia, nonetheless. He or she. Okay, now. Oh, and Melissa Horsley from Georgia. Hey, y'all. She got that Georgia accent. See, you can see it right there in her typing. Hey, y'all. And so, but anyhow, but then I got, I got kind of sidetracked. And I haven't put any new pages in here, but I want to put some new pages. And um, and then sometimes I add add things later, you know, even. 
And so, and I might still add something even on this one. I'm not sure. Like this here, I pulled a, uh, right there, I pulled a prompt card that said feather. And so I just cut a feather out of fabric. But most of the things that I put on to my pages is done with the machine. Not everything, but some, most. And I stitch them on with the machine. I start with a, just a 12 by 12 square of fabric. And, um, and, and what I do, or oh, what I put my bag of scraps. Oh. See, I put, I have my little trolley here. And I went through my, I went through my prompts and made sure that most everything is right here on my trolley, so I don't have to go looking for it. And um, oh, Lynn Martin has fifty-two prompts now for her creative stitching. Very good, Lynn. And I've had a couple ladies send me pictures of their creative stitching, and I love that. Just email me pictures, and I just love them. Fidget quilts I have made on a piece of fabric, 24 by 24, for my mother-in-law who has dementia. Oh, wow, good. 24 by 24. That's a good size, too. And just, that would be just a, a nice size to lay on, on your lap. And your hands are there anyway, so you might as well have stuff to fidget with. My husband is dealing with quite a bit of dementia now, but. I don't know if he still reads, though. So he is reading a lot. So that keeps him busy. I might even make him something. But the, what I could do, even for my hamster, is make a fidget quilt, but let him, and but tell him I'm making it for the kids, for the girls to play with. And then he would most likely want to play with it. Because it belongs to the girls. If I say I'm making it for him, though, um, he probably wouldn't be too enamored with that. And so, so first of all, what I want to do is I have a little piece of fabric here. I want to start with something in the center here. Do I want to start with that? Or do with my neck swivel is going out of business. I can't hardly turn my head anymore. I should have had this piece. Oh, here we go. This will work. I want to start with a piece in the center. No, that one, it's not ironed. What am I doing with this knife here? I gotta get that out of here. In my luck, I'll drop it in the floor. But I'm gonna start with this here piece. What should I start with? I'm gonna start with just a like a focal point in the middle. And I think I'll do this one. That's pretty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. Thank you, Lynn. I'm glad. I'm, I, I think it's fun working with the prompts. Okay. So I put this down now before I even work with the prompts. Now, what I'm going to do a little bit differently today than I have been doing is normally I what I was doing on the others, as soon as I pulled a prompt, I would... Um, attach it right then. Well, I'm not going to attach it right now. I'm going to try it this other way where I pull a prompt out, but I um, kind of put it where... Hi, Teresa. Teresa's my friend who does also the um, Kawandi quilting. Yes, I think Kawandis are gorgeous. And so... But what I'm going to do this time is going to be a different, little bit different because uh, I'm going to try it this way and see how I like this way too. Of course, whenever you have something and it's got rules and directions, you can always change the rules and directions. But I'm going to pull this 
Oh, and it says roll the dice. When I pull that one that says roll the dice, that's going to tell me how many pieces of fabric I need to add. So I roll the dice and it says five. It shows five. So that means I'm going to roll. I'm going to put five pieces of fabric. So and on my little part here, I put some of the scraps that I've been working on recently. Well, some of the scraps from my coasters that I've been working on. So I think what I'll do is I'll take five scraps. Some of these are much too big, so I'll have to make them a little bit smaller. Let me see. Boy, I need to make me one of those. Um, I have one, but I don't know what I did with it. I made a, a heat thing that you make, you fill it with rice, a little bag you fill with rice, and then you um, and then you use it for or like around your neck. I need to make me another one of those. I don't know what I did with the one I had. Okay, I'm going to, there's one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of lay these out. One, and then there's two. And then, well, I got all my Valentine fabrics here. Three. And these are little fishy, so I gotta make it a little smaller. Four. And then I need a little piece of this purple with the little bears on it. That's so pretty. Five. So I have five. See, I start with one in the middle only because what if I first choose a card and it says add beads? Well, then I wouldn't have it, you know, nothing really to add them to. So that's why I like to add. I like to put what, a piece in the middle that's going to sort of be my... Hi, Cordula. There's Cordula, my friend. Cordula. She's up there in, in Arkansas. She's been having some cold weather. Snow. Ooh. Do you have snow now, Cordula? Oh, a running stitch. Now, a running stitch means that I've got to get out my, my needle here get my needle and i'm going to get some thread let's see i have thread right here and so now i am going to be stitching some of this down so wherever i put this root well i gotta untangle oh the snow is gone oh good it'll come back most likely But um, there we go. I got me a piece of thread there, a piece of thread. And I'm going to do a running stitch. Now, for me, mine might be different than other people's. For me, just a running stitch is just, is just an in and out. Um, and it could be that a running, a running stitch in embroidery language might be something different than what I know, but yeah, I don't know. So, and I will do that running stitch and I think I'm gonna do it right here. And I'm just gonna stitch some of my fabric right down already with that running stitch, which I just, and that's kind of how we do a Kalondi. It's just a running stitch, just around and around the, just go around the block with a running stitch. I'm starting to get more into the swing of things again. As most of you know, I, I uh, lost a daughter 
um, a little over seven weeks ago. And um, that was kind of hard to accept. I still haven't really accepted it because of the way she passed away. And um, But I, I am starting a new channel, which an, another channel, not I'll still have this one, but I'm doing another channel and I'm trying, what I'm trying to do is make this channel about depression, about how, if you're dealing with depression, it's going to be just ideas that I'm learning now after the fact that you can understand depression, things that I kind of wish I knew before because my daughter passed away from depression and I don't have to tell you any more details than that, I'm sure. But, um, so, and I'm trying to keep myself from going into uh, depression. And, um, and when you're grieving, um, um, when you're grieving, it's easy to fall into that depression. And so, so I have already asked myself, what, what could I have done that I missed to help her? And um, so I am going to get back into my crafting. I'm going to get back into my crafting as much as I can so that I am taking care of myself. Because as long as I take care of myself, I can take care of others. Not that I have a whole lot of to take care of, but everybody around here <laughs> can take care of themselves. Oh, there is my, there is my Aria. The crafty partner. The crafty partner. I got a, I got a, I got a um, live stream going on here. Oh, hey, everybody. Okay, let me just, okay, this is my crafting buddy right here. There she is. That's my little Aria. Can you lift your light up a little so it's above you instead of, yeah, like that. That's good. There you go. And she sits over here next to me. Here's so, what I did last night. So, um, I put, um, like. These. She's got Nouveau drops over and there. And then I just made a little flower on my hand, squished it on a piece of paper, added a stem, and then look what I made. That is a painted piece of art there. She did. She's got some glitter on it. Yep. But what she did was she drew the flower on her hand. And then took this paper and then lifted it off of her hand. Sort of like a gel print, right? Except you use your hand. Yeah. Who would have ever thought that? That's my girl right there. That's what she did last night. We're just stitching right now, Aria. Cool. You want to stitch? Mm. Right now I want to eat my brownies. <laughs> right now she wants to eat her brownie. Hi, Christina. Good to see you. Oh, uh, Cardula just spent, sent you happy mail. Uh, and you know what, Aria? I think she told me that there's something for you in that happy mail. I have to lean this way. Really? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Look at these brownies. I think it's supposed to be huge. Wow. Look at that brownie. Wow. Her other grandma made brownies. What you eating, kid? A brownie. Mm -hmm. And then there's Papa. Hello, Papa. Say hello, Papa. Hi, y'all. I'm going to wobble out to the road and back. Okay, you wobble to the road and back. <laughs> I'm wobbling through this needle and thread here. I love you too, darling. And so, um, 
I drive this Gilgul crazy. Yes, you do drive that Gilgul crazy. I'm telling you. I don't know who did it. Okay, that's good. And so I'm just doing a little run and stitch on here. I'll just go to the other end. And that's going to hold these pieces of fabric down. And, and, um, and then I'll pull another card. And so when, when you really don't have a plan, it's hard to come up with a plan just on your own. And so if you have, well, some of you, so it might not be hard, but for me, it's hard. And so, but if you pull a prompt, then it's, it's easier. Okay, so there. I just did two rows of running stitch there. Hi, Cardula. Right here, I just did that little two rows of running stitch. So I'm going to just, oh, I gotta just stitch a little knot in the end here so it doesn't escape. And that holds those little pieces down right there. Okay, and now I'm gonna pull another card. What's the next one say? Oh, it's got to roll the dice again. So I let's see how many pieces I'm going to put in now. Can I roll the dice? Yeah, you can roll the dice. Let's see. Four. four. Okay, so I'm going to pick, pick four pieces. Pick me four pieces of fabric. So you can look down Val here. Since too. it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to go with this one. Okay. All right, I'm going to. about this one um yep i don't have one like that on here yet so i'll put that one here and then this will be two what about this one? Oh yeah three oh i got one like this one oh already. you do yeah okay. what about this one um i got one like that <laughs> okay oh it's about this one. Okay, three and then and four, four. Four, yeah. So, well, we got a couple holidays in there. We'll make this one a little bit smaller. And I think I'll make this one a little bit smaller. These are so good. Are they? I'd help you eat one. <laughs> I, I smell supper already. Oh, yeah, we need. Hey, everybody, I made gumbo. Gumbo? Oh, we're having gumbo. We are having gumbo. Lynn Martin says, hi, Aria. Hey. Just to be able to say to someone else, I know the feeling, will be of great comfort. Yes, absolutely. Let's go put that back down there. Now I'm going to pull another card, and this one says, Sew on a button. So oh, now, that's what we just did. So there's a button right there. Okay, and so I put, I put a, all kinds of little things in this little cart, in this little box, that have to do with what's on the cards. And so I'm going to pick a button. I will sell you. I was saying to her what the card said last night, and uh, she just put it in the card. This card over here. Yep, she was reading the cards, and I was putting them in because the last time I tried to do this, I was just working on a on a cover for a needle book. But every I'd pull a card and I'd say, "Oh, I don't know where that is." That's oh, I don't know where that is. And so, but now I have them all in one place. So that's good. Okay, and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this needle with this pink thread in it already. And I'm gonna sew. I'm gonna add this button. Now, if you're doing a um when you're doing a a fidget quilt now, then by putting in a button or whatever you put on, um, 
that gives whoever is fidgeting, fiddling with it, maybe it's a fiddle quilt. I don't know. But um, we could call it a crazy quilt. It could be a crazy quilt. Yeah. And, um, but you got to make sure you get them on good. So I, because like a button, you could take it and twist it enough. And if it's just with regular thread, um, you, it might twist right off. And then the person who you gave it to might put it in their mouth and then choke and that kind of thing. And we don't want that to happen. And so, but I'm just going to tie this. I mean, this whole book I'm putting together could be a fidget book. Now, see, and I'll just get that. That's tied on there. Now, that's on there with embroidery floss. It's not actually embroidery floss, is it, though? It's, I think it's a crochet cotton. It just was on this needle. And But it's now that now that's on there. So now i got to pull another. Um, now it says embroidery floss or thread. So now what do I want to do with the embroidery floss or thread? Maybe what I'll do with that is maybe now stitch one of these pieces down even further. And you guys, last night I made a peanut butter and jelly uh, shell. You know how I make like shells like this? So <laughs> I made a peanut butter and jelly one. She's been painting shells. She calls this her peanut butter and jelly. And look at how it looks like peanut butter and grape jelly. That is pretty. That is pretty, Ari. I like that. On a piece of bread. Uh-huh. And, and she is, I have found since she's been living here, is that um, she likes to come up with things on her own. And so that gives me, she's got a, quite an imagination. Hi, and Gail. so I think that's awesome. Oh, there is Gail. Hi, Gail. And so now I have, let's see, I'm going to take. Let me take a little piece. I'll, I'll take this yellow. Well, no, you know what? I've already got this. No, I want another color. I was going to say I've already got that blue on the thread, but on the thing, the blue, on the doohickey. And you already, guys, but I, I want a different color. Today's my dad's birthday eve. If you don't know what that is, I mean, uh, birthday Adam. Birthday Adam. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what birthday Adam is? That means... Adam and See, birthday Eve would be the Eve before your birthday. And your birthday Adam is the day before birthday Eve. Adam, Eve, get it? So th my dad's birthday is on the uh, January 30th, and today's the 28th. So that makes it um, today's before. And today is, um, today is Alicia's birthday. And oh. today is my um, Alicia. You see her up there? Oh, I don't see her. But Alicia Mott, she said she's working on a happy meal, too. But um, today's her birthday. She's 21-ish. Ish. Ish. She's 21-ish. Or maybe it's 29-ish. I can't remember. One or the other. And then today is also my granddaughter, my granddaughter Elizabeth, Elizabeth Ann. She lives over in in Alla. I mean, Arizona, today's her birthday, and she's 16 years old. And she's the one, I've told you before, that um, she is, she's, um, she is, has Down syndrome. And so she is absolutely beautiful. I sent her, if you ever heard of them pillow pals, I sent her a pillow pal. That is um, Eeyore, Eeyore off of Winnie the Pooh, and she just loves it. And so I've already gotten a couple of pictures of her with her, with her Eeyore. And so 
today is a good day for birthdays. Okay, so now I'm going to take this here. I've got this pink on here. Where do I want to put it? Oh, I'm going to um, use that and I'm going to go ahead and stitch across. I'm going to just stitch this here purple piece with the teddy bears and I'm just use a running stitch again, but I'm going to um, just go diagonally across. And then when you don't have any plan, you know, um, when you don't have a plan, you just do whatever, whatever the prompt says. And then when you're finished with it, you'll be just as surprised as anybody else. If you do something with a plan and then it doesn't turn out right, and you think, oh, that's not what I wanted. Well, then you can, it's too easy to get discouraged. We don't want to get discouraged here. So if we don't have a plan, um, Papa, what are you laughing at? This kid over here. That one? You should see what I'm doing. What are you doing? I can't show you yet. Oh, she can't <laughs> show me what she's doing. Okay. Oh, and there's Janet. Janet, how are you doing? Janet, very beautiful. I can't ever say her last name, that Visushibi, whatever. And so I just say VB stands for very beautiful. And, um, and she's had a little bit of a rough time, too, in the last little bit of time. And so... We have 17 people in the audience already. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. That's wonderful. Ow, ow, ow. Yes, Miss um Miss Janet just lost, I guess I can say she's lost her hubby just recently, within the last week or so. And um so that's, it's hard, yes. It's hard. When losing somebody you love is just, it's not easy. I mean, and we just lost, I don't know if you all, any of you remember, um, one of our, one of our subscribers that absolutely was absolutely amazing with her scrappy, scrappy um stitching and her name was carmen you might have seen carmen balco or sometimes she would come under her na husband's name ed well she passed away I mean, that's what i was doing oh my gosh you got all them bracelets on that's a lot of bracelets girl yes she carmen just passed away just well, I guess maybe it's been two weeks oh, ago, Nina, maybe three. Did Joy get her package yet? No, not yet. I haven't mailed it off. Okay, good. Because I want to make her a bracelet. Okay, you make her a bracelet. And so. So hard to get all these things. Ah! Yeah, I know. It's just. It, you know, and I, you know what, Gail? Gail just said it is so sad that Carmen passed over. And so I like that. I, I mean, not that she passed, but passed away is like, then they're gone forever. I don't, and, and so when you say passed over, that means they're still here. Their spirit is still here. And we will always remember. I mean, Carmen had a spirit like you would not believe. She was always happy. And I mean, I mean, she... She, I think she was 80, not 89. She would have been 90 real soon. And um, but up until the very end, she had started having some a bowel blockage or something. And then she had um, a couple surgeries and that didn't help. And then she went to um, hospice. So she really didn't suffer for a long time. She And the attitude that she had with life I bet she didn't have one complaint. 
at her bedside. I just met her. Bet she didn't because she was just amazing. And so, but I miss her because I talk to her almost every Sunday. And, um, yeah, Carmen, she never, if you, if you seen her, if you heard from her, um, I would video call, video talk, FaceTime chat with her. And, um, and she's beautiful. I mean, she's just beautiful. But when she, when she got ready to go out with her hubster, she would get all dressed up, put on some makeup, and she had a wig that she'd wear. And um, she put that wig on, and I swear she looked. And I would tell her, you, she looked like um, Barbara Streisand. I say, my gosh, when you get, uh, and she called it gussied up. She goes, I'm getting gussied up because my hubster is taking me on a date out to the thrift shop. It's just you get herself all gussied up. And um, <laughs> yes, Alicia, she was a beautiful lady. Absolutely. And my memories of her just, I, I just want to, I, I want them just to keep me on an even keel. I have that. Oh, and then there's Mine Kay. Aloha from Hilo, Hawaii. Very nice. And then there's Have At It. And she says, good afternoon, ladies. And your name is Joe, I think, if I remember right. Of course, my memory isn't good at all anymore. Okay, now I'm going to pull. Okay, now I did. I pulled that. Put in some. Now my next card I'm going to pull will be use pinking shears. So I've got my pinkers. And little stinkers right here, pinking shears. So now I'm going to take a piece of a fabric. I'm going to go give this to my mom. It's a late birthday present. Oh, okay. I was making this one for her and I never finished it. And now I just did. So yeah. I'll be right back, you guys. Yeah, so my baby, my baby son's birthday will be on Tuesday. That's my baby son. I haven't been pregnant for 59 years. I mean, for 39 years. I've been unpregnant because he was my baby. Oh, why are you not crafting? You need to be crafting and have that. Is your name Joe? Please, I'll call you Joe. And if I'm wrong, just let me know. Um, I'm going to use those. What will I do with those? Um, oh, man. I want to take a piece of fabric. I can't turn my head. Oh, I'm going to take this piece of fabric. Now, it says to use pinking shears. So what can I do with these pinking shears? I'm going to just go ahead and pink. I'm going to pink the edge. I'm going to pink a piece. I'm going to pink a piece. Oh, you are, Joe. I was mauled by a dog, so my hands don't work too well anymore. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Joe. When Now, how long ago was this recent? Oh. Now I'm sad to hear that. Hi, Lizzie is a volcano. My name, my name is pronounced Mene. Oh, Mene. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mene, M-I-N-E, Mene. Yes. Like Gail says, I hope your hands get to working, okay? Uh, again, all right. Okay, so I pinked the edge. With the pinking shears, the edge of this little piece of fabric. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a needle and thread here, which this is already threaded. So I'm going to use this one. And I can't imagine being mauled by a dog. 
Hi, Josie. There is Miss Josie. Now, Josie has a channel as well. And Josie does little auctions. And I think mostly what she sells is jewelry. And she might as well just give them away because her prices are always so good. But um, she has a channel too. It's good to see you, Miss Josie. I haven't been to many auctions lately. I haven't been to many videos lately, period. But um, but sometimes I like, I like to go to auctions sometimes just because they're fun being in the, even if you don't buy anything, it's fun just being in the, in the chat, in the group. So I'm doing that running stitch again, just in, Oh, you also do junk journal and jewelry art. Junk journal? Yes. We're like, I've been getting the getting the idea that I want to do junk. I have done junk journals, but um, I have been away from it for a while. So, but I've been thinking I want to get back in there. And there's Carrie. Carrie, Carrie. Leonard. Hi, how are you? Now, I know where Carrie is. She's up there in Canada. You're in Canada? She's way up there. I've heard that it looks really pretty there. Well, Canada is pretty. So see what I've done there with that piece of um with that piece of pinked fabric. And then I just put that running stitch onto the unpinked edge. Carrie has a channel too. I wanna have a YouTube channel, but no, your mom says you got to wait a little while. Because I told her we should make you a channel. And she says, oh, not right yet. But what if I connect it to your channel? I, you, well, you already are connected. Because you're connected to me. My oh, my gosh. <laughs> I guess that's true. And so, and Carrie has a channel. And um, she's always looking for new subscribers, too. You guys, you might see me laughing out of nowhere. I watch funny videos. Oh, are you watching videos now? Oh, no, I'm still listening, but... Oh, okay. So there, now, I have just made a flower from my pinked edge. And, um, my pinked edge, and that makes a pretty little flower, and it's very simple to do. I could have put that little blue, um, on the back probably but i didn't so um oh i see i have come and played bingo with you before joe but it's been a while um i've been kind of hiding lately but i'm getting i'm getting to where i'm un getting myself unhidden a little bit okay so now i use the pink and cheers and i'm going to put I'm going to lay that right there for right now. I'm not going to attach it yet. But, um, yes, have at it. has a, um, um, she has a bingo. She has a channel, and she plays bingo, and it's always fun for the bingo. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this right here because I, I might want to change it to another spot. Oh, yeah, Gail doesn't go anywhere near as many live. Yeah, I used to see you in many live streams, Gail. But I don't I don't go to them as much anymore either. Not that I don't want to. It's just, well, since my family moved in, um, it was just me and Papa here all the time. So I would go to live streams and different channels and stuff. But, um, but... But since, but then my son and his wife and the two children, they moved in. They think they have to be our caregivers, although we don't need caregivers. We don't mind getting in trouble on our own. But anyway. And um and and um and so now I stay busy. Now I stay more busy with with um with 
with my family. Okay, now my next um, prompt that I pull is leaves. Now you could take a piece of fabric that has leaves on it, or you could take a piece of fabric and cut it into a leaf shape. But what I'm going to use is, um, boy, I can't believe my neck just doesn't want to turn anymore. Let me see. You see that little bag that has leaves in it on here? So now I have to sit back. You didn't even look. You didn't look, are you? Just a minute. I put everything on here so I would have it right handy. I know the leaves are here. I know they're. Mm -hmm. Look what I did. That's beautiful, girlfriend. Just a minute now. Oh, where did that go? The leaves. The leaves. Is it the bottom shelf down there, Aria? Do you see that little bag with the leaves in it? No, those are feathers. No? They grew legs and walked away? Uh -huh. They made like a tree and leafed? Okay. I know they're in here because I put them here last night. Oh, here they are. Oh, gosh. I wasn't losing my mind. Okay, well, um, if anybody knows how to do the dr channel drops, um, but Josie's Place is just Josie's Place, if you look at that. Have at it is have at it. Carrie Leonard is under her name, Carrie Leonard. And so now I'm going to cut me off. I can't never find the end of this. So I'm going to just cut off a piece of this. These are leaves because they're my prompt. Okay, just have at it. Yes. Oh, thank you, Gail. Now, Gail just, she just put one up. I don't know whose that is, but you have to have a wrench to drop channel leaves. Okay, I need to get more wrenches in my in my viewers. Okay, so now I have this, and these are leaves, so I'm going to, well, you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm not going to hand stitch this on. So let me move these out my way. I'm going to stitch them on with, ooh. with my sewing machine. Oh. So I'm going to, and so where will I put them on? I think I'll just put them on right there. I'll pull my sewing machine forward here. And then I'm going to put and then I'm going to put oops I gotta put my little flower right there. I think I'll put this onto a zigzag. And I'm going to just zigzag it on there. It's sort of couching it with the with the sewing machine. And so, and we'll just get that put on there. Well, my thing wants to twist, but you know, that's probably not a bad thing, actually. I'll just get those leaves. You know what, you guys? I just wasted all that time because I have no bobbin in here. 
no bobbin thread. So I'll just take that bobbin out of here. I have one. Do you have one? Black or white? White. Thank you, sweet cheeks. You're welcome. So we'll just put that right in there. Right on in there. Oh, you got metal bobbins in there. Okay, now. Now we'll try that again. Scene one, take two. Yep, my sewing machine is going to join and have fun. I am using my walking foot more and more. You know, at one time I didn't know really what a walking foot was all about. And, um, but now I have learned that a walking foot. See, in your swing machine, you have feed dogs underneath. You all probably know this, and I don't. I didn't. You have feed dogs underneath your fabric that feeds your fabric on through. Well, a walking foot puts feed dogs on top of your fabric. So you have the feed dogs under, pulling your fabric through, and over the top, so that when you are stitching especially if you've got multi layers if you're stitching using multi layers then they're both going through at the same time because you've got feed dogs on the bottom and on the top and so and i i didn't know that i had to figure that out all on my own Because I just, I'm not one to change the feet on my machine. I just give it one pair of shoes and then just, um, it wears the same pair of shoes all the time. And so, so it's fun. But I do like my walking foot now that I know. I get, I have to learn about, I've got other feet too that come with the machine. But I don't know what they do, but I guess I really need to look into see what they do. And I'll be smarter for it. Yeah, Janet, you need to get your sewing machine fixed. You need to. I think we all need something about the hum of a sewing machine. It's also something very, very soothing. And Angela says, how is Ray of Sunshine? Have it Now, she has been, Happy Ray is, she's doing good. But she's been, she's been working on herself. If, um, I'm sure a lot of you know what I mean by working on yourself. A lot of us have to work on ourselves, and which is what, I'm pretty much doing right now. Susan Hill. No, I didn't have to pull the thread up, Susan. It just once I put the bobbin in there, then the the needle just pulls it up. Yes. Yes, Josie. When you sew, you can tune out a lot of your stress. And I don't know, is it the hum of the sewing machine? It may be, it might be. Now, Susan Hill is in Washington State. So she's way up in the other, she's as far as you can get and still be in the United States from me, in the, in the, this part of the United States. Of course, she could go. We had, um, oh, you know, I can be saying something and then read a comment and I completely forget what I'm saying. Alicia says, remember, Lizzie, way back we had door prizes. We're going to have a door prize today. We're going to have a door prize. Not to worry. We're going to have a door prize. Yeah. Um, yeah, you do know how to sew, Susan. Susan is a quilter. Or a former quilter. I don't know if she still quilts, 
but she had even wrote a book at one time. Gosh, it's smelling good in here. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a we're going to have a um I have these four Valentine coasters. One, two, three, four. And those are going to go to a um to the for the door prize. And so, okay, now what was I doing? Did I? Oh, oh, I just did that. Okay, now that's it. Okay, and now this is here. And now I got to pull another prompt. No, I am not the Susan Hill you are thinking. I live in Colorado part time. Oh, you are not Susan. So you're a different Susan Hill. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, Susan, welcome. I thought you were Susan Hill from up there in Washington State. You live in Colorado part-time and Oklahoma the part of the time. Okay, so you're you well welcome to our welcome to our group because the other Susan Hill we know is Susan Hill. <laughs> I guess Susan Hill could be a common name. Yes. Okay, now this prompt says to add a yo-yo. Okay. There and I'll get over back here in my in my. I really thought my trolley was going to make things a lot easier, but I got everything thrown around in the tray. Oh, there's a yo-yo right there. So I'm going to put that yo-yo right here. Or do I want to stack it on top of this? No, I don't. I'm going to put that right there. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and stitch it on there already too. And I'm just going to add that on right there. Right there in that middle. Oh, no, you are not a disappointment, Susan. Nope, you're not a disappointment at all. But the other Susan Hill I've known for a lot of years. And... Um, She's an amazing young lady, and she's a quilter. And so, yeah, I guess, you know, I guess I just assumed, you know. Yes, yeah, so many Susans, yes. Okay, so now that was the yo-yo. Now the next prompt says lace edging. Okay, everything's better with lace. So now, oh, here's a piece of peach lace. I use that peach lace around one of my needle books, I think. Okay, so now where do I want to put this peach lace? Okay, I don't want it to go on the edge because, um, because this is going to get sewn together with another piece because it ends it ends up being front and back. So I think what I want to do is I think I'm going to go with this lace. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on right now because I want to. Now, I'll put that off to the side right there, but I'm not going to forget about it. Yes, that's what I tell myself. I'm not going to forget about it. I say that a lot, and then I forget. Okay, so I'm going to stick this on here. And my thread I have on here is, I just love my multicolored threads. And because I love every color under the rainbow, of the rainbow, and under the rainbow, then this multicolored really turns out to be beautiful. And so I'm going to just put this lace around this piece that I put in the middle. 
And I'm just going to put that on using the zigzag stitch. And Alicia, I have a package to go up off to you too, but I have to either make a box or find a box that it'll fit in. Because I have your um, I have your dream catcher ready to go. Well, this isn't going to go all the way around. And it's not even going to be... It's not even... I'm going to take this orange flower here. And I... That I made with the zigzag scissors. Well, it, my sewing machine said, I don't really want to go over that big lump. But it did. And, um, and soon, so, oh, my thread broke in the needle, but that's okay. I got enough stitched on. Susan, what I'm doing here, let me show you. I'm doing, these are prompts. I have prompts for, um, like a mixed media or whatever. Josie, this is a brother. I I kind of, I like brother sewing machines. I think, you know, I know they make big old fancy ones too. You know, the big fancy brands, but I like my brothers. I've had a, I've had brothers. I think this is my third brother. Maybe that means, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a brother. I like it. Um, Okay, now, what was I going to do now? I just lost track of my whole mind. Okay, so I put that... Oh, I was just going to say, I was saying to Susan, I am making... These are pages in this, in this book. These are all pages that I have done using prompts. Well, some of them aren't prompts. But see this, like there's a button, there's a feather, there's couched yarn, there's a crocheted flower, there's tool, there's a yo-yo, all the, and there's leaves here. And this is a piece of vintage, something vintage. But, and then this is something I just added afterwards. But, um, and then I stitch them together. I stitch them together. See, now once I finish this one I'm working on, it will get sewn together so it'll have another page on the reverse side of it. And then I put all the pages together. I just kind of whip stitch along the binding and just um, so that they're all together. But each one of these is a different one that I've done using the prompts. So there's beads, buttons. Oh, here was a bird. It said applique a bird. So I just cut the shape of a bird and I just put that on there. And um, and then this was word, which I just made some more words the other night. And so like this was, I think that, that one said put a picture of an animal. Now another word, a hexagon, buttons, rickrack. A lot of these are just things that I have in and a zipper. But what I want to do when I put a zipper, this zipper, I put the zipper there, but I um, also, when you open the zipper, then it's got all these flowers underneath there. So it, when you think about it being a fidget book or a, just a book that you can put on your lap, turn the pages and fidget, fidget, just, there's so many textures. Like here is tool. And I just, I pulled that prompt and it just says tool and um 
And so there's so, but what I want to do too is if I pull a zipper, I'd like to make some just like quotes and write them out on a strip of fabric and put them underneath the zipper. So then when you open the zipper, you can, um, you can read the quote, whatever it is. There's a bow, you know, just a piece of, um, piece of a doily. This is a pocket. And then I put this little dangle in there. It goes in the pocket, but it's just got so many things that you can just fidget with or fiddle with. And yes, I just wrote up my own little prompts. These, I just wrote on these cards, different things that, um, different things that I have already. And so that I know when I pull the prompt that it'll be something I already have. And so now see, I just pulled, roll the dice. I just pulled that one says roll the dice. That means that's how many pieces of fabric I need to put on. I need to put that many pieces of fabric on whatever I roll. Um, now, wait a minute, Susan. Okay, and Lynn says, has anyone a big fan of blanket stitching? You know, I love the look of blanket stitching, but I can never get it exactly to where it looks even. But when I seen somebody stitch today, I was watching a video today or yesterday and she was using a needle, and I wrote down here the brand. The brand said Loops and Threads was the brand of needles. And the one she was using was size 7 to 9 or something like that. And, it, um, and it, she said it was a cruel needle. But what this needle has is at the end of the needle, there is color. And so then the so then you can some of them have a half inch where the color is, some of them is um, an eighth of an inch or whatever. And so um, I looked on Amazon to find them needles because I said I think I'd like a package of those needles. And but the only way that they offer them on Amazon was in bulk. So you have to pay like $38 for 20 packages or something. I don't know how much it was, but it was much more than I wanted to spend. And anyway, I don't need a thousand needles, but I thought that would be awesome. I mean, and you can look, and if you just look on Amazon and it says loops and threads, needles, AirPods, and, um, um, Oh my gosh. And and they're marked so your stitches will come even. Oh, thank you for stopping by, jo um, Josie. I appreciate it so much. Yeah, mine never come out. I have done blanket stitch, but they never come out exactly right. But I really want to try some of those. Loops and threads I found was yarn company. Well, if you put you if you put in loops and threads needles, then it'll show you the needles. But they have yarn too, apparently. But the needles they have. Because I did see the needles, and you can see where they're painted on the ends or paint. There's a color in them. I'm sure it's not painted though, because if it was painted, then you wouldn't get the needle through. Okay, my my dice says that I have to, one piece, one piece of fabric. I have to add another piece of fabric. Now that's good because I needed another piece of fabric. And so let's go with let's just go with oh here we'll go with this this piece right here. Jeez. Need a new neck swivel. Yeah, that's too long. I don't need one that long, so I'm gonna cut me a piece off of there. And that's going to be my next piece of fabric. That one will go right there. 
Now pull another. And it says add a flower. I've already added a flower, but that means I have to add another one. Oh, flowers. So counting flowers on the wall. That don't bother me at all. Okay, so I got this here is like little flowers that say um um so I think what I'll do is I will I will snip off three of these little flowers here and I'm gonna put those right here. And I'll put them right there. And then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to get another piece of thread here. I'll use this thread that I have right here. Actually, no, I won't use that thread. Put that back there. I just it's something about that thread. It's hard to use. And um, and I'm just gonna stitch those little flowers. So you can hand stitch. You can. No, but did you see Gail? I seen. It said that it was like thirty-eight dollars, but that was for a whole lot of packages. It didn't. It didn't say how much it would be for just one package. So, I get, maybe you can only buy them in bulk. I don't know. You silly girl. And so, but yeah, I, that, that's what I saw. It's too expensive to buy them um, in bulk. I don't need bulk at all. And so. I think it said like $38, but it was, yeah, 162 needles. Yeah, we don't need that many. I only need just a couple. <laughs> oh, I'll have to check Michael's. I'll have to look. I mean, I don't go to the Michael's store, but I can look online and see. And um, I think Aunt Jen goes to Michael's. Yeah, she does. I could have her check, too. But, um. Do you guys like my leaves? You silly girl. She's a silly girl. Yeah, that's why it was so much is because it they were offering it in bulk. But just, you know, like this girl was showing, she was doing a blanket stitch and had all her stitches perfect, but that's when she told how she used those stitch those needles. And I said, I need this in my life, but not for that much money. And I sure don't need that many needles. Okay. I really don't need needles, period. But okay, so now I did the flowers and now let's see. Applique on a square. So now I just need a square of fabric. Something that I don't already have. Hey, what about that piece? No, it's a rectangle. Well, I'll make it into a square. I'll just square it up. Okay. There. Now that's a square. So I'm going to applique that square on. And now to applique, well, probably, you, um, where'd it go? It's like, okay. yeah. Now you can applique, hand applique it. Well, oh. Okay, you can get one package for two ninety nine. That sounds like a little bit better, unless the shipping is ten bucks. You never know. Watch this. You are silly. 
um, an applique, you can applique very nicely just using the zigzag stitch. And I'm just going to make it a short, a little bit wide and short. And that's the width we want short. Okay. And so then you can just applique that by just zigzag all the way around the edge. Oh, wait a minute. Did I? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, my thread broke. That's right. I remember now my thread broke on the last go around. What time is it? How long have I been here? Oh, an hour and a half. Oh, geez. Well, I'm not going to be finishing this whole thing on this here stream because. For one thing, dinner is going, because I'm slow, and um, I don't sit well too long, because I'm, yeah, old. There we go. So since, I'm going to just applique this on, and then I'm going to, we're going to do the drawing for the drawer prize. So now. So I'll applique this little square on. See, you just actually have somebody to tell you what to do, and then you don't have to decide nothing. There's no decisions to be made. I'd rather have somebody tell me exactly what to do. I can follow orders. you hear this here thing this is my um i put that right there on my sewing machine this is one of the cards one of the memory cards um from my daughter's funeral she's so beautiful but that makes me remember her i mean not that i would ever forget her i will never forget her And I still talk to her. I write her letters. I talk to her. Okay. Your mom never listens to you. I didn't hear. And she says, I'm going to have to show her my lips. I have to take on. And then she says, go clean up your mess. And I'm like, I didn't mean to. And she's like, I know you made a mess. Go clean up your mess. <laughs> no, I haven't. I've been in Nina's room. Well, she was thinking that maybe you um, made a mess in here. I know, I know. There's always a mess in here. Okay, so now I just did that. I just applique on the square now. So there's a square that's applique on. And thank you, Susan. Yes, my daughter was my, yeah. It's hard. It's tough. It's hard. Okay, I'm going to, um, let's see, there's 24 people in the chat, and I am going to, where did I put those? I'm going to have a door prize here, and my door prize is going to be I put them here, so okay, oh, there, right here. Now, if you are overseas, if you are somewhere else, then the United States, you're only going to get one because I can put one in an envelope and send it, I think, with two overseas stamps. But if you live in the United States of America, then you're going to get four. That seems doesn't seem fair, does it? But it's um, it's it's just that shipping. It's that shipping because I can put one of these in an envelope and I can ship it cheap, cheaper. But if I put all four of them in, it's going to cost me at least twenty dollars to send it out, and that's like a little much. And so. 
I want you to put in a number be between one and a hundred. And the one that comes is closest to, wait a minute, I got to write a number first. Wait a minute, don't, now I'm going to write a number down here. And where is my pencil? Where's my pencil? Just a minute, I find my pencil. I could ask Alexa, but I don't, well, maybe, Alexa, turn up the volume 100%. Thank you. I'll just ask Alexa. Now, um, between 1 and 100, pick a number between 1 and 100. The person who gets closest without going over um, will win this set of four Valentine coasters without going over. Oh, yay, I see numbers coming. Everybody put in a number. Gail, my legs are doing so much better. And that's been since my son and his wife moved in. Because now they cook much different than me and Papa did. We're not eating fast food. I'm not e just heating up frozen dinners. We're actually eating healthy. And so, and the swelling in my legs is minimal. Very minimal. Yes, so I'm happy for that. And so, does everybody have a number? Everybody that's still here, it says there's 22 people here now. Now there's only 21, somebody left. And so, um, and then we'll ask Alexa to choose us a number. Okay, we'll get your number in and I'll give it another 30 seconds or so here. And um, and then I'll ask my little friend here to pick us a number. Alexa, choose a number between 1 and 100. Forty nine is the number. So who got the number closest to forty nine without going over? Alexa chose number forty nine. Okay, now I'm seeing Cordula at forty six. Yep, it's Cordula. Congratulations, Cordula. You're going to get these four Valentine coasters. And that is kind of neat because Miss um, Cordula right now is, she's made it her goal that she is making pot holders. She's made gobs of pot holders. And they're all in heart shape. She says she's just going to make heart shaped things all year long because the world needs more love. And so, and if you, if you, thank you, Gail, for coming. And if you are in the Scrap and Lizzie Unicorns web, um, Facebook page, you'll see where she has posted some of her pot holders up, which her pot holders aren't just for pot holders. You can use them as as um, a mug rug or any, anything. But, but I told her, I said, you need to try and sell some of them, make you a couple extra dollars, you know, because she lives on a very limited income. And then you, you have money to buy more fabric. And so if you, if you see, if you go and look at in the Scrap and Lizzie Unicorns Facebook site page, then you'll see where she has posted some of her pot holders. And then just leave her a message. Tell her you're interested. All right. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, now I always read something at the end of my videos. And so I'm going to 
to eat, read. I'm not going to eat anything. I am going to eat, though, soon. Okay, it says good news. Now, this is One Minute Inspirations for Women, and it is Inspiration Discover the Heart of God. And so, and this book was sent to me by um, Ethel. Thank you, Miss Ethel. Good news, it says. Do you know Jesus? He is our Lord and Savior. And that's in Romans 3.23. Reveals that we have all sinned. We all fall short of God's glory. And the penalty for sin is death, spiritual death. The good news is Christ died for you and me. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Please take this opportunity to give your life to Jesus. Open yourself to his love and truth. Ask him to come into your heart and be with you forever. He is waiting for you. And if you already know Jesus, praise his holy name. And that is what is the good news for today. One Minute Inspirations for Women. And thank you all for coming. I ask God to watch over each and every one of you. Every step you take, every move you make, and keep you safe and keep you secure, keep you healthy, happy, and humble. And I will see you on our next video. God bless and thank you so much for hanging out. And do some slow stitching. Do some slow stitching, machine stitching, just stitch. Now I'm going to work on this some more tonight and finish it up maybe. God bless you all and thank you so much for coming.